talking about. One thing I wanted to do is talk about glitter borders, um, pulling glitter text. It's very fun, very nice to do. Let's go ahead and do some glitter text. So you have my name. And this is, it just defaulted to whatever font I used last. If I want to change it, I can come up here. I selected my text tool, come up here, and I can just go. And I like to use things in my character panel. You can also do it here. But I'm filling the Lily Bell font today. So let's just capitalize my name. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to make this a glitter text. It defaulted to the four, to the um, color most recently used. Let's go ahead and make this something else so you guys can see it a little better. Awesome. So, a few ways to do glitter text. First, I'm going to go to my Dropbox and I'm going to search for my glitter papers. Um, I purchased a lot of glitter textures from Allegra Creative. She's on Etsy. She's really cool. I think she changed her name. It was like 100 papers for a dollar. Crazy deal. If you ever want to buy digital papers, you know, go on Etsy, look for um, some glitter papers. This is just a full glitter pack of digital papers. Seamless 12 by 12 works amazing. Let's go ahead and pull out some gold. So I'm just going to take this and drag it onto my canvas. If you don't want to drag and drop, you can do file, place, embed it. Hit enter when you drag and drop or when you place anything. So you can also do file, place, embed it, find it on your computer, and it will do the same thing. So here's one of the quickest ways you can do it. When that layer is, right click it and create a clipping mask. Boom. Easy breezy, right? So simple. We've got glitter text. Um, you can move it around. You can select both of them and link it. And now you move both of them together. Okay, so that's cool. Awesome. Another way you can do it. And I'm going to open this up. I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this with Photoshop. I'm going to do it the way I do it really quickly. Um, I'll show you guys two other ways. I'm just going to go open with Photoshop. You can also do file open. And I'll show you one other way to drag it. You can do file new, open up a new file, and then do that. All right, so here it opened up into Photoshop. Make sure you unlock your background. And I'm just going to go edit, define pattern. So it's really easy to use when you already have glitter textures that are done for you or digital papers. Go glitter texture. And then I'm just going to come back to my file. Let me duplicate my name only. And what happened was it released the clipping mask. We'll go ahead and create it again. I'm going to grab this name. Okay, so I put the clipping mask back in, selected both of them, and linked them. Um, let me show you that. Here, there's a link at the bottom of your toolbar that will be able to help you, um, your layers panel to be able to show you how you can group things and link it together. So I'm going to go ahead with this layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Layer Style, which is your FX down bottom. Or you can also do Layer Style. I don't use this option, but um, I just kind of come over my Layers panel, click it, Pattern Overlay. Let the Layer Style panel open up. I have a few patterns already that I've saved. I just love patterns, guys. You'll see all of these saved that are mine. And select the one you want. You can scale it down. You can scale it up. You can change the blend mode. You know, you can make it more opaque or so you don't see it as much. All different kinds of styles that I keep here in my um, patterns and if I need a new pattern I'll just go and grab one and upload it so that's how you would do your glitter text if I wanted to make a glitter like this whole panel glitter I would just select the layer and I can come to my um, shape tool I can do a fill with a pattern 
I can scale it up. I can scale it down. Or if I wanted to, I could also do a pattern overlay with the layer style. So a lot of options, the same way you did it there, you would just come here and, you know, choose your pattern. So I like to use patterns just because I find them to be a little more easier to use than a clipping mask. Some people's preferences are clipping masks, just not mine. Because um, this is also a way for you to find backgrounds without having to purchase it. And just go and say gold glitter background. So if you buy it from a place like Creative Market, Etsy, Hungry JPEG, those type of places, um, you would have, you know, the full 12 by 12 sheet. Most likely, like, it's, that's already in a really good resolution for you. And if you don't want to buy something, maybe you just, you know, you're in a crunch or you don't have time to look, go ahead and do Google. Go to Gold Glitter Background. Find one that's not, um, you know, watermarked and just save it. And do the same exact things that you did, clipping mask or make it a pattern in Photoshop. So hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have so much fun with patterns. And let's make some glitter tags.